Right guys, so as I said previous, I had just, you know, claimed the, the nut in the vise here and I was going to, to sand it uh, or file it down using the, um, you know, my, my diamond file over here. And I've just done, done that. And um, as you can see here, I have now, you know, cut it to size and, you know, I have created the, the radius on top. If you can see that. Um, so the knot now has its you know radius and its rough dimensions here on the side. So I can basically you know I can fit I can fit one size flush here on the other uh, one side of the guitar and the other side I have to you know file and and make it match. But it's a good way of doing it. But it looks nice and yeah we are basically you know we're getting there. Uh, let me see if I can get a better angle on this. But you can kind of see it here. And let me see if I can give you a good read on the radius. But you can see that it's it's been radiused now. And um I'm you know I'm ready now to um on the vise here, I'm ready to take out the um the call for basically creating the string slots. Um, the radius call that I have on right now are actually uh, the shaping call and as I showed you it, it just it matches up with the with the radius. So this is the radius that I have incorporated into the knot. I'm going to put that aside and I'm going to take another one that looks similar uh, with the same radius here. Um, but it's a little, you know, the other radius call is leaving um, right here on the um, right here on the base side. It's leaving about one millimeter. Uh, it's it leaving. It's leaving it one millimeter high. That's what I meant to say. And it's leaving it uh, zero point fifty, so half a millimeter higher on this side. So we have room to basically, you know. Uh, work with the string slots. So when I take this radius call here and I place it with the with the matching radius and I fit in um, you know I put in the knot again I will basically be able to you know cut the uh, the knot slots and um, I'll see if I can show you this um, if I just clamp it in here, you should be able to see that we have we have a good amount of clearance in order to you know cut the um, the string slots, and um, it's just going to you know it gives us room to get the string slots down to where we need them to be. So let me see if I can I can show you this without any problems. But if I turn the jig around here, you should basically be able to see that. Right over here on the base side, we have some material sticking out, and we have the same thing on the um, on the treble side here. So that is basically our room to work with. And what remains for me now is that I will take the knot out, and I'm going to fit it on the guitar. Uh, I'm going to put on the two E strings, and um, this is going to basically give me the, the string spacing. And I have, you know, roughed out that from the old knot it was about 34.6 millimeters. So I needed to be um, somewhat close to that in order to, to get everything right. So I will tidy up the workbench and I will get the guitar up here. I'll fit the knot and we will find a good place for the two E strings and basically then move on to match the um, you know the uh, the string spacing but this is turning out great and it looks good so we are on track guys but let me tidy up here and um, I will then be back guys so stay tuned right guys so the guitar is back on the table here I have just installed the two E strings and the knot itself the nut blank is here. I've just, you know, I have one side which I know is square, uh, and the 
the treble side here and I've just put it up against so that it's you know flush and I can always trim off the excess afterwards. I've placed the nut in the nut slot making sure that it's you know seated probably as it should and we're going to take a look at the, the string spacing. Um, I was thinking something like um, 34.6 millimeters, but I decided to go up uh, to 35.20 because I found that if I went with the you know 34.6, it would be the strings were sitting kind of you know too crouched in and too much room out on the frets, but it could have worked. But giving it a little more, just you know, it it made it made a little bit of a difference here, but I have the nut in place. I will place the two E strings here and um, basically try and line them up so we have them. And I have this type of string spacing that I like to check it with because this is what we're going to cut the grooves with. Um, and I have to use groove number two up to groove number seven. And this right here is a perfect fit. It fit, fits right in between the, um, you know, it fits right in between the, the second and the seventh groove. So we're basically good to go there. Um, and you know we can basically mark out the the slots, um, the position of the slots, and I just like to have a little bit of a, you know pencil point here and just mark the edges and then we can basically you know remove the strings and we now have our two you know linings here on the on the guitar don't know if the light is catching it but you can see it right there we have the two add re strings and from there I can basically I can basically take the nut off the guitar now and I can place it back in the jig and I can use the string spacing system here and use groove number two up to groove number seven and we can cut the remaining four slots. So I can take the nut off the guitar now and you can see here that we now have the string spacing roughed in uh, we have a little bit of overhang over here that I have to trim down, but this side over here is flush and we're good to go. Uh, gonna place it in the jig and we can start, you know, cutting the um, initial nut slotting grooves and basically at last take out our files and start filing the nut slots. So I'll tidy up here, get the nut in the jig and get it up here on the table and you can see what we're going to do from there, guys. So stay tuned. Right, guys. So the nut is locked in in the vise again here with the you know radius call for basically you know roughing in the the string spacing, and I have this string spacing rule right here that I'm going to use. And as I said, I went with the string spacing that was you can see it on this chart right here. I went with the string spacing that was. Uh, 35.2 instead of the 34.6 um, so we're going to see how that turns out and I have to use you know groove number two up to groove number seven to get the 35.2 string spacing so I'll do that I'll take the you know string spacing rule here I will fit it on the um, on the jig here and I basically have to you know line it up so that it all matches and I can just do that by checking it's just a little bit of going back and forth I'll just move you guys down there so I can see the I would say that it looks to be somewhat around there. I can fit the knot on the thread here and just 
you know, lock the um, string spacing in place, and then check it again to see if things are still lining up. And um, I believe that we can move it a little bit. Something like that would be good. Yeah, I would say this is good right here. And I have this small file that we're going to use um, to rough in the you know starter slots here. And you know, if I can just move you back here, I can give you better angle um, so I can start the you know roughing in the the slots and I can fit in this saw right here trying to you know get it straight and just check everything is where it's supposed to be if my device would just vacuum And the string slot is basically, you know, it's been roughed in right there. Just, you know, basically getting the saw in there in order to fit. And I can cut it. And I have an, you know, a groove, which I can, can you know, fit the, um, the nut slot file in. And if we just move along here, I can cut the remaining slots in order to get everything right. And, you know, then I'll just have to rough in the remaining slots, just making sure that I have file at a good angle And right now everything looks good. We have everything roughed in here guys, so I can now take the you know string spacing ruler out and I can start getting in the nut files. So let me just get those together, make sure everything is nice and tight here as it should be, and uh, I'll bring you in when we have to file the nut slots and show you how you know excellent this jig is for doing that because we can't really you know it, it has an internal depth stop so we can't go too low on the nut slots so i'll be right back guys <laughs> <laughs> 